Right. Does that make sense, Neil? So we're going to talk about Ford diffs, and there's two different types of Ford diffs and two different sizes. We've got the seven and a half inch diff, and we've got the seven inch diff. The way to tell which diff you've got is with a tape measure and measuring over this top mounting point. So if you measure over that top mounting point, we can tell that this is a seven inch diff. Likewise, again, seven inch diff. So that's the seven inch casing. The, the other two differences within the, with the diffs is the pushing shaft and the labro or bolt-on shaft. Um, we call it labro, it's referred to as bolt-on shaft, labro shaft, low bro shaft, you call it what you like, but it's, it's, there's about four different names of it. Um, but essentially what you've got is you've got a bolt-in shaft, which has a stub axle already inside it, and you've got the pushing shaft. Now, this is where Ford have overcomplicated things. What they've done is for limited slip diffs, with the bolt-in shaft, if you want to put an ATB dip, limited slip, aftermarket limited slip diff in here, you have to get equal length stub axles. So these stub axles in here, one is longer and one is shorter. If you look at the back of that, you'll see that this it's slightly um, over to the, to the left of your screen, um, whereas you would run a shorter shaft on this side and a longer shaft on the right-hand side. This has got a bit, a bit complex to, uh, to explain. So I'm going to use the whiteboard. I'm going to take you all back to school. So we've got the bolt-on shaft, and it's a seven inch diff because we've measured it already. This one is a push-in shaft, and this is also a seven inch. For an LSD in the bolt-on shaft, if you're gonna go after market, you need uh, equal length, equal length stub axles or you go with the Ford Viscous LSD. On the pushing shaft, you can run an ATB and we can bolt one of those in. Oh, by the way, these equal length stub axles are available on the website. Price that, I don't know, I have to check it. There'll be a link up here. So we've not even covered ratios. And what we've got now is we've got the pushing shaft. We tend to use the pushing shaft diff because it's easier to bolt an LSD in. So when you're looking in the back of your car and you're on the phone to me saying, which diff have I got? This is how you work it out. Has it got stub axles or not? If it hasn't, it's the pushing shaft. And if it has, it's the bolt on shaft. Now we're going to talk drive shafts. Right, so what, what we've got now, I'm going to show you the drive shafts, which is the bolt in drive shaft. And you can see that the bolt in drive shaft, actually I'll show you a push in as well. They look completely different. Now ignore these, these are quite, obviously these are old ones but I just wanted to show you that these are the two different drive shafts. So what we've got with the bolt-on shaft, obviously it's quite simple. It bolts onto the stub axle here, and then you have a stub axle on the outside. With the push-in shaft, this will just push straight in. I'm not gonna put it in, but that will go straight in to the diff. And that is how you can tell. And they do look completely different, the, diff, uh, the drive shafts do, and the back end of the car. Let's go and have a look at the back end of a push-in shaft car so you can see what it's gonna look like actually physically in the car. So as promised, here we go. We've got one, here's one we made earlier, very Blue Peter style that. Um, we've got a, a push-in shaft. You can tell it's the push-in shaft as I showed you that. Obviously it's a lot cleaner um, and they're, they're all brand new, but push-in shaft and this is a seven inch diff because you can measure it across there. Um, we've put an ATB LSD in this one. So an aftermarket limited slip in this particular diff. Um, that's what we do with all the, um, all the diffs, all the pushing shaft diffs. They're much, much easier to, to, uh, to fit. So there you have it. Hopefully that's a good little 101 for identifying what your diffs are and whether you can fit a limited slip diff to them.